Alrighty guys, so I'm coming towards the end of my um, little holiday here in Bali, so um, yeah, next week I'm going to be back, back in my home kitchen, so I hope you don't mind, I've been doing a bit of a, uh, just filling in a few, um, yeah, just sort of keeping in touch, um, thanks for being patient, I'm off today just on a little tour with my host here, just to, um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to see, but um, a few local sites apparently. Alrighty. how steep this is it's like because we are in the middle of Karangasem now oh. so if you go Karangasem along the beach behind you is the mountain and in front of you is the ocean oh, okay yeah Karangasem is actually unique like this wow nak mau kari arak udah 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 oke oke nepo warung pertama dari kiri sebelah kiri Bantuan pabrik, eh, dan ini pabriknya, 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 This is the oh, okay. the two fermentation is in here. So, so we're so we're making uh, making a rack. Here. Making a rack, yeah. Is the you berapa hari kah? Oh, it smells so strong. Until five day, you must put in here. Five days. Four or five days. Four or five days. Until it's uh, uh, fermented. fermented. Fermented, yeah. And then pouring on on the itu ya pak ya. Oh, okay. Process. Then process lah kebus lagi. Jadi pendingin air lagi. So after this fermented, they put in here and okay. boiling for two hour. In this one. In this one. In this one. For two hours. Like three. Oh, okay. For two hour. And then the what do you call it? Steam. The uh, steam going on this one and ready to become the alcohol. Okay. So it goes through a barrel of water? Yeah. And then to become the arak. Yeah. Oh, wow. But all with the traditional with the coconut and wood. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So this is real. <laughs> This is real Iraq, not um, yeah, not, the not, meth one. not the yeah. methanol poison you drink over in Kuda and that. This is the real stuff. Ada pohon buat tua tu katanya. Nah ini, you will see the the tree. Oh, okay. You see the tree with the like uh, this one? Yeah, the um. Yeah, so it is really not uh, you can. Go the palm palm tree. Yeah, yeah I will. Drinking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's my driver. Don't oh, drink and drive. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink you and drive, can. folks. <laughs> One's alright. <laughs> <laughs> 
so I'm just talking to Eka here and that uh -huh. um, <laughs> she's my friend and host uh, yeah. that lovely lovely spot where we're staying in Sanur but today we're out on a lovely um uh, in East Bali yeah it's yeah. so good so we just saw um, some arak being made traditional way and I think um, Eka's bought some <laughs> <laughs> So they get it from the, um, it's a yeah, type of, one. type of palm, yeah, there we go. So they get the sap, I think, from a type of palm tree. And then they ferment that for four or five days with sugar and, do they put yeast? Yeah. Yeast? Two spoon of yeast. Yeast, yeah. Two spoon and then uh, sugar, usually two kilograms. Two kilograms of sugar. And then after it's fermented, that first fermentation, it gets distilled and um, yeah in the usual way so this is proper arak not the rubbish you get at um, Kuta that'll send you blind it will, it's got no methanol and it's proper yummy arak traditionally made so as well as making a rack, they also do weaving around here, traditional weaving. It's just a beautiful area. Folks, back again. So we're just on a quest to find a uh, another local Iraq maker traditional ah oh, hang on my bad traditional weaving Father who make is sick, that's why. Oh, he's sick, okay. Nope. You can't help that. Uh, we are actually looking for a rack. <laughs> but the guy at the last spot was uh, that makes it sick. Okay. So the weaving place is this way. We've just been up that way looking for a rack. <laughs> you, you want to see her make if, if, if she wants to <laughs> I don't want to force anyone in anything <laughs> No, 
Ah, will not block. <laughs> so this is going here. Yeah. Ah, so yeah. Yeah. They can't see me. Mm. Mau di nyalain nanti? Mau nyalain kerja? Tunggu, tunggu, wait, wait. Oh, you get the fire going a bit hard. <laughs> I'm like a, a wolf and a tree pig. You know the story? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> You need a, uh, oh, oh. they need a blower like they've got a titties for a room. <laughs> he will do it, uh, wait. Oh, <laughs> I need for my eye. All right. Come on, I'll have. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot. <laughs> Cheers, Eka. Don't get drunk. <laughs> yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> Nice one. So, Eka was just explaining the first place we went to mm -hmm. had the number two. It is number two quality. Number two quality? Yeah. And that we one we just went to was number, number one. one. So, we will compare. We will compare them <laughs> and give a uh, verdict. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. It's like wine tasting. This is a, yeah. a Balinese version of a wine tasting tour. <laughs> <laughs> Stop here, guys, on uh, Eka's tour. So, Eka, what's the name of this place? It's a Sari Baruna restaurant. Sari. It is in here. Oh, okay. Sari Baruna. It is uh, famous when people want to go to Chandidasa area. Oh, okay. And they stop in this. Oh, because okay. uh, the food, one packet, is yeah. only 30,000. Wow. Including soup, rice, and the chicken satay, and the pepper. Man, that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> It's really nice and cool in here because of the big high roof. So our meals arrived. So Eka was just saying for 30,000 you get a meal here. You get the sate. sate. Yep. yep. It's different. This is all piece but different is they make uh, like uh, minced Minced, minced, yeah, Min yeah. And this one is not no. it's chunk. chunky, mate. Yeah. And with the uh, like uh, long bean. Long bean, yeah. yeah. And this like peppers you. Peppers, yeah, yeah. In the wrapping in the banana leaf. Yeah. Wow. We got some sambal, some soup. Yeah. And this condiment. Some nuts. Some rice, all right. But we do. Uh -uh. Stone. Stone. stone, standing stone, mm. something. They call it standing stone restaurant. Oh, okay. It's in the, it is in the complex of Hotel Royal Purnama Hotel. Okay, wow. It's uh, the owner, I think, the Australian. This is the black sand you're talking about from the yeah. Mount Agung. Yeah, uh, from Mount Agung. More yeah. And this the standing sun you can see from far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. But some bit there is uh, like in Sanur, but in here is. Uh... Yeah. So further up there, you probably can't see it on the GoPro. Is where we were gonna sit, but they wouldn't let us go in there just to have a drink, and it was very expensive. We've already eaten, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's Nusa Penida Island. Nusa Penida Island? Yeah, and the harbour to Penida is from Just there. Just over there, yeah. yeah.
That's about the flashes around about I've ever been around. So we're outside Gula Bali here, which is a local sweet joint. They just serve um, traditional Balinese sweets, Indonesian sweets, and it's definitely only pretty well frequented by locals. Order in the Balinese uh, sweet uh, oh. This one, all the ice. Ice ones? Yeah, ice. I will order this one, the original Bali, the Daluman. Uh -huh. And this one, Singkong Salju, is look like you eat in Thailand. The cassapa with the sauce from the coconut milk. Oh, that sounds yeah. good. So, so this one is ketan durian. Uh -huh. Yeah. So my um, ketan durians just arrived. Yeah. yeah, it's easy to to make. It's actually with the tiki rice okay. and the durian, and then it's with the coconut milk. Okay. Yeah. It looks good. And what did you order again? Es daluman. It is actually natural, so we have the tree like the leaf. Okay. The, the leaf you make uh, like this. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you put on the big pot and leave it one night, okay. and will become jelly. Okay. Is then Just... we call it this jelly daluman. Wow. Then we eat with ice and with the uh, sugar from the coconut sugar, the the brown, the brown one. Yeah. So I've got my durian here. Taste a bit of that. Mm. I could say to try a bit of hers too. She's looking for the plant that it's made from to show me, but you end up soaking it overnight and making this jelly. Ah, which is just delicious, oh my goodness. Hekas just ordered another dessert. Yeah. Ruj Rujak Boni. Say it again, Ru Rujak Boni, B-O-N-E. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, like berries, a small one, really like this one. Oh, Usually see. the color is red and black. Then we make it with the uh, brown sugar and make it sweet. And the, yeah, wow. and also with the chili of course and the salt. Wow. I don't know. Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> Spicy, sour, and sweet together. Wow. Kanda restaurant. Kanda restaurant. Is it a parrot or a uh, it's truth? It's just sitting in here, it's not in a cage. <laughs> Oh, these ones are in. These ones are in the cage. Mm -hmm. This one in the cage yeah, because yeah. of this one. Yeah. And many baby turtles there. Turkey. Hello. You you survive from the Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> What a place! <laughs> yeah, usually it's uh, 
Usually the people come here and going around playing. Yeah, okay. And they sleep on the trees, the people at night. Okay, yeah. Wow, it's big. Can uh, have nice sofa there and reading book. Yeah. Wow. And they have accommodation here too? No. <laughs> Just a restaurant. Just a restaurant. <laughs> Very expensive? Uh, it's like restaurant in Sanur. Yeah, okay. Training and new running. Oh, okay, yeah. A conference conference training center. Get your selfie there, do your Instagram thing. Swimming <laughs> pool? Yeah, so you come here, have lunch, have a swim. Stress. You have passport? <laughs> yeah. Immigrant. Visa. Where's your visa, mate? That's not a bad spot for them. You have white ones. guys well as you can see back from the uh, big day out so yeah I'm back here at uh, Eka's studio apartments um, look I wouldn't normally do this but I do highly recommend this place to stay Eka is a great host as you saw <laughs> and it's a really really nice place to stay nice pool um, look it's not five star and Eka doesn't even try to pretend it is. It, but it's, they're like self-contained little apartments. They've got a little kitchen, kitchenette sort of thing, fully serviced, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'll put a link down below. And over here on Sanur, Sanur is a bit, um, yeah, it's just a bit quieter than over the other side. Legian and Seminyak and Kuda, those places, sort of caters a bit more for, it's still got everything you need restaurants, bars, um, just the, um, yeah, you tend to find more uh, like guys playing acoustic guitars in the bars rather than, you know, rave music or anything. And although there is a, um, you can find rock music, but again, it just sort of tends to cater to us older fellows. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, it's been a bit of an indulgence, this video. It goes a bit longer than normal. And um, that's, I've cut out so much. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. It was just a big, big day. Um, but I will, as I said, I will be back in the um, kitchen shortly. Got lots of great ideas. Uh, I'll probably just refrain. You could imagine, as, as you could imagine, I'll have a little break from Indonesian food. Yeah, just for a little bit, and then I'll, um, yeah, looking forward to getting back in there. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you all next week back in the easy and delicious kitchen. <laughs>